Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is the William Rush show here in Media, or actually Lima, at the Penn State uh, Brandywine campus. And we have quite a few people already um, set up. We have a lot of different carvings all over the place, as you can see. And uh, I'll just walk around so you can take a look. This is about 10 minutes before we open on Saturday, um, the 11th of November. We'll be open tomorrow as well. We have our booklets. This is our the club's table. And they meet quite often during the week and stuff, so it works out really well. Very good. All right. And then, of course, there's a bunch of tools and all kinds of books that you can choose from. They've got a long table here of stuff. If you've never been to a wood carving show and you're be a beginner, this is like being in a candy store for people. Um, there's just so much to look at. This is a lot of power carving. Um, the eyes and the cast feet are for the bird carvers. They have uh, study bills to learn how to do the bill of the duck or the, the geese. And... Um, so a lot of this is sanding and a Fordham tools, uh, you know, or high-speed grinders. They have patterns for birds. I used to buy some. Those um, birds that you saw before uh, that I showed you outside uh, on Facebook, those birds I did back in the 80s, and that's how I learned how to do a lot of it. So we're just going to go around here, take a look. Hello. Character carving seems to be a real um, a real plus. Here's another huge vendor. I think he's got all the way around here for tools and supplies. A lot of power, flex cut. I don't know if he has healthy knives or um, some of the other stuff, but he has a lot of books and things here and stuff so you know we always have like two or three vendors that sell at a show sell supplies and tools and stuff they sell basswood of course um, all kinds of stuff this is interesting let me get around these guys here we have a wood turner here as well very good and we have somebody that does pens and all that so, as you can see and they use different color woods a lot of times to get that effect there's a lot of wood carvers that went into turning um, quite a few Now, of course, this is uh, my buddy from uh, our club, uh, Bob Hershey. He has all his stuff. He does a fantastic. He's won all kinds of awards and stuff, um, numerous awards. He's an excellent carver. He has a very unique, unique style. <laughs> I love this alley cat. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. That is so neat. That's an awesome cat. I love that. It's a beautiful Santa. It's very, very nice. <laughs> the raccoons. Yes, Christmas is around the corner. He does a fantastic job on, on texturing. If you take a look at his texturing, it's just amazing. Very lifelike caricatures but yet very lifelike now and we'll promote our show for next march that's our 
the Lancaster County Woodcarvers uh, show uh, next next March. So I know we're not there yet. Let's get through Christmas, but it's never too early to start planning for these things. Then I have, um, you know, then there's all wildlife photographs and things, original paintings, and we have some things in flight here as well. <coughs> Beautiful stuff. That's unique. <laughs> Very good. Again, we have another vendor up here. Um, so we have three three vendors up here, along with some uh, other carvings and stuff going on. And there's a neat one of the veterans. Happy Veterans Day. I want to thank everybody that served in our military. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that from our own family living in Holland during the time. My parents were under the Nazis' occupation. If it wasn't for service people willing to go, um, I wouldn't be here in the United States. That is for sure. And uh, um, well, I just want to thank each and every one of you that served. I'm very proud of our country here. And I know a couple of service people, and they're just so dedicated to serving our country. I mean, they're so dedicated to go anywhere we tell them to go. How do you like this stuff, folks? Isn't that neat? That is just awesome. This is Jim Feather's work. He's also from the Lancaster County Woodcarvers. Excellent work. And uh, we're just going to go around, look at different things. It's awesome, awesome work. Awesome. And what they do all kinds of different things. Uh, this is scroll work that they do. Just take a look at that. Very neat stuff. Those would be excellent gifts for people that are serving in the community. Very nice work. And we'll go down here, I'm trying to take you around a little bit more so you can see what's actually here. If you don't get a chance to come down, plan it for next year. We really would like to uh, have you come down and take a look at our stuff. You know, I'm going to speak from a personal level here. It is so much work to set up for one of these shows. Uh, it's a lot of prep time before you're even out here for some of these people. I know personally for me it takes a lot of time to get everything done and up and running and it's very satisfying to have a good show and have a lot of people come out and to support that kind of thing. Puzzles, that's interesting. So you know, it's it's tremendous amount of work. And I'm going to just show you a little bit of my stretch here. I have two cases, a turning case there, and we'll go. And my rack I bought last year for the DVDs. And then I have the TV up at the top going. And we come around and some of the things that I sell, you know, that I've been carving all year. I have a little bit less than last year, so if you're planning to come up to the shop, uh, I would do it early. I'm not forcing your hand, but some of this stuff goes pretty quick sometimes, and I never know how a show will go. I might sell a lot of stuff, and maybe not so much the second time. But um, so this is a, I have two and a half tables, an L shape. So this should be a lot of fun. We're about to open up here. I believe it's almost. 10 o'clock, so I need to wrap this up, and I appreciate you joining me today. Uh, I hope to see some of you down here today. Say hello. If I'm busy and I don't recognize you or not able to talk, I apologize for that. I'm manning this all on my own, and so it's a lot to not only uh, be able to help people, but uh, to keep an eye on things as well and, you know, to make sure things are in place and 
um, in order. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining me again. And I promise you I will probably the week after Thanksgiving I'll do a few new ones. I know the cat, here's the cat, has been very popular. I already have three orders for one like him, and I'll definitely get that going. All right, folks, take care and uh, hang in there and keep carving, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.